on top of the uh, sloping roof of the timing hut and uh, Vesta Sarok and two just behind me there has just well effortlessly uh, climbed up the, the 40 knot ladder and we haven't hit any snakes so far in this session but we've done uh, the first sail were 10 knots the next sail was 20 and the next one 30 and this one 40 we're jumping up at our uh, 10 knot increments and the boat just feels so incredibly stable feels like an aircraft just rattling down the runway before it's even taken off it's uh the faster it goes i'm just really sitting there with this amazing view and no spray and uh the thing just feels locked in it's a really fantastic ride so it's a credit to uh all the design team and the builders and everyone involved with the boat it's uh it's working beautifully so far the only thing that will really let it down is if it'll be you know it'll be a small detail so we're still trying to go forward gently Although 10 knot increments doesn't sound that gentle. It took us so much through so much trauma to get to 40 knots with the first boat. And that uh, Festa Star Rocket 1 was the first boat to do 40 knots and prove Bernard Smith's concepts right. There's uh, Bernard Smith's second boat right behind us there. So uh, to, to May Smith and all, all the uh, friends and family in Boca Raton, uh, here, here they come, here come, here come the Smithmobile. So, for this one, Johnny and the boys are over at the uh, container over the other side there. They're getting some uh, champagne uh, for 40 knots and they're getting the fast foil, the high speed foil. The wind's gusting to 25 knots here and uh, we're going to try this fast foil and just see how, uh, see how good it is. And if it does the business, well, we might be drinking two bottles of champagne today. This is all going a bit easily. Uh, that sort of doesn't make me feel too comfortable in a way, but uh, amazing, fantastic day here. Uh, and yeah, the boat's jumping through all the hoops, so let's, let's see if the rest of the day can yield more champagne.